Hey guys, Anthony and Clarissa here. Today we're going to be teaching you guys the basic step of the two-step. Now two-step is the most popular of all the country dances. It's one you'll definitely want to know. Uh, anywhere there's country music, there's going to be the two-step. So here's the first thing we've got to do with two-step. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys start by holding hands like this. It keeps a little space in between the two of you so he doesn't step on our feet quite as much, right? All I'm going to have you guys doing to learn the basic is just walking in a straight line. Okay, now leaders in all dances all the time, you're going to start with your left foot first, followers are going to start with the right. Can you tell them why that is? Because we're always right. Because the ladies are always right. So what we're doing is we're just walking. We have to make sure that our feet line up like so we're moving at the same speed. We're not going to do that again. We're going to walk in a straight line, but this time as we do it, we're going to be walking two quicks and two slows. All right, so we're going to be walking for quick, quick and slow, slow quick quick slow slow all right now notice that when we're walking there's a change of speed of our feet but there's not going to be a change of speed of our body so we're not actually going to be dancing quick quick slow slow we're just moving at the same speed so as we're moving we're going to come around this way we're just going to go quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow kind of moving at a smooth even pace all right, now the dance position for two-step is gonna be leader's left hand, follower's right hand. And now Clarissa's uh, not as tall as I am, so this is gonna to go to her nose height, okay? So my hand will go to her shoulder blade, which is here, not here, it's gonna be here. Her elbows are gonna to touch and her left hand will go to the shoulder seam of my shirt. So right about here. So when we're dancing two-step, again, we're just holding this position and slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow quick quick slow slow all right a couple more things to know about two-step i usually prefer two-step like if we're in dance position if i were wearing a tie not that i would wear a tie when dancing two-step but if i were my tie would be lined up with this shoulder so i'm not going to be directly on top of her i'm going to be here this is going to allow her feet to kind of go outside and inside quick quick slow slow so two-step is a progressive dance. So, uh, of your country dances, there are certain ones that are progressive. Two-step is a progressive dance. Polka is a progressive dance. Waltz is a progressive dance. But some of your other dances like East Coast Swing or West Coast Swing or Cha-Cha, uh, those dances are stationary dance. So your line of dance, as we call it, is a direction that we move around the room. Line of dance is always counterclockwise. Okay, so as the rules of the road go, the faster dancers will typically travel on the outside while the slower dancers will typically dance on the inside. Now, a lot of times now saying that, that's the way it's supposed to be. But if you go out dancing, a lot of times you're gonna notice that's not the case. So a lot of times, like you just have to basically go with the flow. Sometimes you're gonna be behind people that are moving faster or slower. You got people behind you. The things I want you guys to know is that when you're going, uh, dancing and do set, you are consistently moving that way. We don't wanna move that way. That's like driving on the wrong side of the street. Okay, he's going to get you in trouble. So as we're dancing two-step, we're traveling around the room counterclockwise, couple in front, behind you, on either side, and that's the flow of traffic, okay? So let's concentrate on the feet here before we move on to the next step. Um, ladies, again, you're going to start with the right foot, gentlemen with the uh, left foot, and as I'm moving forward, I'm going to step comfortably with my heel, just the way I would normally walk. Now, a couple things that I see beginners doing all the time is he's afraid to step on her feet. He doesn't want to do that. So what he tries to do is he tries to step around her feet and he looks like he's just gotten off a horse. Okay, we don't want you to do that either. When you're moving forward or backwards, your knees and ankles should almost brush each other as they pass through. A couple tips for the ladies. Um, if we were to be here and lean towards me, if we were to lean into each other, now guys, she cannot feel this happening. Ladies, you can't feel, you can't follow his feet moving. What you can feel is my body progressing. So when we lead, we actually lead with her body and not our feet. So her left hand that is here on my shoulder, her right hand is in my hand. If she puts a little bit of pressure, she can actually feel my body moving. Her job is to keep that distance, all right? Now, if she's keeping the same distance and moving in sync with him, he's not gonna step on her feet. Now, if you do step on her feet, guys, it's actually her fault, all right? and say aim for them. I'm just saying like it's technically her fault. So because what happens is she as a follower will not dance to music. She technically danced to stay in sync with him and hopefully, you know, he's dancing to music. But if we're moving, as long as she stays in sync and keeps her distance, it should feel no different for him 
to just do that rhythm walking in a straight line by himself as it does with her. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the basic step of the two-step, and uh, we'll see you guys for the next lesson, the promenade.